Hi, friends. We're here today with Larry the Cable Guy. How do you know they're your friends? Well, Maybe you got an enemy or two in there. You, you absolutely might be right. <laughs> but they like hanging out with us. And actually, they're so excited to see you. They gave us a couple of questions to ask uh, you today. Let's do it. Everybody likes Stephanie. Darn <laughs> awesome. Right. So let's start off with our first question. It's from Alicia White from Facebook. Hey, Alicia. Which do you enjoy more, being a voice in a movie or your comedy shows? I'll be honest, being a voice in a movie was awesome, but comedy shows I like better. Because then you can see that you actually get response right away. Yep. And making people laugh is the best thing you can do. I yeah. mean, so live performing, I'll always do. It's awesome. so much fun. Um, voice voiceovers are great, but there's nothing like the interaction with the audience. Awesome. So I like that better. Well, and you're so great at it, so. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. So our next question comes from Amanda Lynn Cravens from Facebook. She wants to Hi, know, Amanda. <laughs> what is it about comedy that drew you to make it your living? Uh, I can tell jokes and make it money. <laughs> that's, it's easy that's enough. That's probably what drew me to it. I didn't want to drywall, so I started doing this. <laughs> no, like I said before, I, I didn't know I was going to be a comedian. I like comedy. I went on stage a couple open mic nights, and I just kind of got hooked. Awesome. You know, there's no better feeling than writing a joke and, tell, and getting on stage and people laughing at it. It's a great feeling. Like I said, you're so good at it, and it looks like it's so easy for you. You're so. awesome. Thank you. I'm going to hire her to be my bubble. <laughs> All right. So our next one comes tell, from... Tell some people on Twitter, would you? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get it out there. No That's worries. That's not a fun place for celebrities. No. No. Not always. Twitter, not Twitter's, always. Twitter can be t tough. So our next question is going to come from Michelle Todd from Facebook, and she wants to know what was the best part about being Tomater? Best part about being Tomater? Well, you know, I got kids, so my kids get to see me be Tomater. That's fun. Um, I think just the fact that it's a Pixar movie, and they're like iconic. Right. And even, I mean, they always got these huge Hollywood actors that play <laughs> these parts, like Tom Hanks was was Buzz. Right, right. Was he Buzz? No, that's no, he Tim was, um, Allen was Buzz Lightyear. Yep, and he Tom was, was Woody. the cowboy. He was yep. Woody. So, man, just to be able to do a small part's awesome, but the fact that Mater turned out to be this awesome character for Pixar and they got their own theme park. They did. He I was mean, such a big hit. I am so thankful. Uh, it's uh, it's amazing. I can't I can't even thank you, Lord. I mean, seriously, <laughs> it's it's so awesome. Well, Tomato, he was a pretty fun character, so I could see how you would have a lot of fun. Playing <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, he made me happier than a tornado in a trailer park. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, so our next question comes from Deborah Childers from Facebook, and she wants to know. Not Deborah Childers. Yep. She. We used to run with some Childers. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so she wants to know, as a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, yeah. all I ever wanted to do was dance. You know, I wanted to be a Broadway dancer. Really? No. <laughs> you had me sold. Uh, believe it or not, I grew up on a pig farm in southeast Nebraska. I moved to Florida when I was a kid. and uh, But I grew up on a pig farm, and I lived next to the cattle barn, the sale barn. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when I was a kid, I wanted to drive a pot belly cattle truck and I wanted to be a cattle auctioneer. It's an honest What do you give for? 25 and a half, 9 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 and a half. See? You would have been pretty I, good I kinda, at it. I kind of got it a little bit. You would have been pretty good at it. Awesome. So our last question comes from Gabe Russo, and he What's wants up, to Gabe? know which comedians make you laugh. You know what? I was always a fan of the old style comedians. I'm a one-liner type comedian. Mm. So when I was growing up, it was always the old guys, you know, Henny Youngman and Charlie Callis and you know, Bob Hope. And, yep. uh, right now, oh, and the show Hee Haw made me laugh. Monty Python's Flying Circus <laughs> made me laugh. So I was a fan of all that old stuff. Anybody awesome. did one-liners, I like. Probably today, uh, man, there's so many good comedians out there, you know. I think probably the one that really got me wanting to be a comedian was uh, Howie Mandel. Uh, when he was in that show, uh, Make Me Laugh, he always, he, I thought yeah. he was great. But And Steve Martin, I, he's the first comedy album I ever bought. Really? With Let's Get Small by Steve Martin. Very and cool. it was pretty awesome. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Yeah. And thanks for that rounds out our questions, guys. So Thanks for having me. And it's a one-camera shoot, which is good, because the camera puts 10 pounds on you. So <laughs> well, I'm I got only, one camera to fight with. I'm only 10 pounds heavier in this shoot. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye. See you later. We're going to go splashing around. Yeah. <laughs>